Listen, I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm sorry about the cameraman. I'ma fire his ass. <laughs> but yeah, I know sometimes y'all be catching like bits and pieces of me and shit. It's the cameraman fault. See, but sometimes the cameraman be. <laughs> I'm about to talk to him. You know, he can't be, you know, I got to do that, you know, before I record. <laughs> you know, so I'm on, you know, I ain't about to go in depth. I ain't got to tell y'all all that shit. <laughs> you just put two and two together or something. Anyway, I talk a lot of shit about the magic. You know, so, you know, I am... I realize, nigga, I, I give credit where credit's due. You know what I'm saying? And the motherfuckers played ball last night. Y'all was falling asleep and shit because I'd be tired. But, you know, they was playing ball last night. You know what I'm saying? The White, 32 and 16, you know, yeah, the Magic's not going to lose too many times when he do that. 32 and 16. Before he had 30 and 8, he didn't get over the 10 rebounds. You know, that's why they still got fucked up. You know, because say he would have got at least 13 boards that game. You know, that's five extra shots at the basket. You know, say three of them were offensive. I mean, that's three extra shots at the basket. You never know who could have got them shots. Or they could have been three putbacks by him. Offensive putbacks, which would have been six points. They lost by four. See, that's how real it is on that basketball court. Any little thing out the ordinary that you don't do in that game could cost you the game. Period. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's consistency. And the Celtics are consistent. And they got other players that's going to step up. You know, you got Rayway, you got Paul Pierce, you got Garnett, you got Rondo, you got Big Baby. You know what I'm saying? You got Rasheed. You got motherfuckers that know how to score. The only thing with Dwight is he don't know how to score. He did some scoring last night. He was a beast. Excuse me. He was a beast last night. But can he do it again? They going back to Orlando. He may. But can they can can they do it again? Boston undefeated in Orlando. And can he do it for a third game? You know what I'm saying? And that's what these young niggas in the NBA don't under fucking stand is you got to come out and do this shit every game. That's why I don't understand how they give LeBron James the best player in the fucking league. I don't understand that shit, because you look at Kobe. Yeah, they lost to Phoenix. That nigga still gave him 28 and 10, though. 28 points, 10 assists. You know? And he may come out the next game and give you 40 in Cleveland. But Kobe, Kobe is consistent. And Kobe is hurt this year. You know, but at the same time, so like, how y'all gonna put this nigga? This nigga can't even get past the semifinals. You know what I'm saying? He can't even get past the semifinals. He can't even come see me. Y'all can put me on a commercial with this nigga on the puppet, but we can't get on the court. <laughs> he can't come meet me in these finals. You know what I'm saying? And that's the shit that make a nigga mad. You know, the unappreciativeness. You know, Kobe been getting talked about ever since he started playing ball, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers been hating on Kobe, you know, it was since high school, since, his, since since he came into the league, his whole city was hating on him, because they felt he was arrogant, you know what I'm saying, how you did it, the same thing happened with, with Yashua, who y'all call Jesus, I call him Yashua, because that's his name, Y'all can keep calling him Jesus, you know, we ain't gonna get into all that. Jesus, uh, who? But, Yahshua went through the same thing. He was a Hebrew. He was hated on by his own people. He got crucified by his own people. He ain't even do shit. 
I'm like, damn, the nigga was a high school driller, motherfucker. I'm like, what the fuck? How you, how you expect him to act? He's 18. No, 17. You know what I'm saying? He's 17, and couldn't nobody in high school fuck with the nigga. How you expect him to act? Yahshua, that's all the glory, all the creation, the Holy Spirit, everything within that man. You know, what he's supposed to do? Besides tell you how it really is, but because y'all can't understand or relate, you want to hate on him or say he can't be who he was, you know, and all this other videos. He's Kobe done been through the same thing in his career. He got criticized for big shots he missed, but he was young. You know what I'm saying? He was young. That was his first time being in that type of pressure. Like, yeah, he gonna shoot three air balls in a row. I was glad too, cause I I ain't too much, you know, particularly like the Lakers at that time. You know, you know they had a stacked team, and I always feel they always had a stacked team. I'm starting to understand why it ain't even got nothing to do. You know, <laughs> even basketball is spiritual. You know, but that's a little deep. You know, I'm I'm doing a little correlating right now between Yashua and Kobe. You know, just showing you how people hate. You know, you ain't necessarily have to do anything. And then they, when he made that one mistake with the chick, <laughs> the motherfucker, ooh, oh. Let him have it. Then took his shirt off. Yeah, you know. The nigga came back and ain't do nothing but go back to work and do the same thing on the basketball court he been doing. He went to his lowest point to where he could You know what I'm saying? But the nigga was drilling. You know, but he never got no credit. But then this young cat, LeBron, coming to the league. King James, King James, King James. He's the best player ever. And this nigga can't even get to the finals. Maybe, I think he got there one time, but they got drilled. I think he got there one time, but they got drilled. Oh, well. Now they actually think Phil Jackson. You think Phil Jackson going to go to Chicago to coach LeBron? He may. I don't know. I can't tell the future. I don't think so with Kobe still in the league. Kobe still playing with the Lakers. Phil Jackson ain't going nowhere. We talk about loyalty. Phil Jackson ain't lead the Bulls until Michael came back. When Michael left that last time, then Phil left. This nigga ain't leave Michael like that, and only he stayed there because they still had a good team. When he left the first time, they still had a good team. They still almost went to the finals. That one year, and then Jordan came back the next year, and Phil Jackson stayed there. But then after, then it, man, the only way Phil Jackson will leave LA is if the front office talking that bullshit about breaking the team up, which I doubt. You know, so them thinking Phil Jackson going, that's going backwards. Why would he go backwards when he's about to go to the finals again? Why would he go backwards when he got a team that's liable to go to the finals every year? Huh? He got a team that been to the finals three years in a row. That don't make no sense. That's stupid. He's old. He ain't got shit to prove. He ain't got shit to do but have a team that's drilling everybody. <laughs> and he can just sit over there and relax until shit start getting out of hand. And then he, you know, he get a little vocal. But other than that, you know, it's not going to go backwards like that. Y'all tripping. This nigga's like 70. But I'll holler at y'all just chopping it up. I'm going to fire the cameraman. Believe me, I'm going to fire him. He's bad. He's old. One.